a drow merchant named Merlinus now joins Eliwood's group. With Merlinus in tow, they set out for Laos the following day. Laos is located in the heart of Lycia, a territory ruled by the power-hungry Marquis of Laos, Lord Darwin. Preparations for the war of which the fairy magistrate spoke. Varinian magistrate spoke. The disappearance of Eliwit's father, Elbert. The death of Marquis saint Do these all revolve around Lord Darren? In Eliwit's heart, the need for truth is drowned in fear. A fear of what the truth may hold. Chapter 14, False Friends. Hi everyone, I'm Cinder89, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. Are you certain? Fairy's heir is here? Yes, father. We've just received word from our lookouts. He's still beyond that hill, but he'll be here before long. Lord Ephedon, what is the meaning of this? Perhaps when they reached Santoru's castle, Lord Hellman was still clinging to life. You can't be serious! He couldn't have lasted too long, but maybe he told them something. That's terrible! Our plan! It's all for naught, isn't it? No need to be so alarmed, my lord. Even if he told young Eliwood something of our schemes, Fairy no longer has any power. All Eliwood could do is perhaps inform Marquis Ostia. Ostia? That would be ruinous! Lord Uther may be young and new to the throne, but he's dangerous. That addle padded Hellman was a coward to the end. To betray us now, when we were so close. We only need a little more time to complete our plans for rebellion. Then, before Marquis Ostia becomes aware of any of this, you would do well to stop them here. Yes, you're right, of course. We do have a chance. They have to pass through Laos to get to Ostia. We can still silence them. They must not pass, no matter the cost. Let us make haste. Call up our finest troops. Father, please let me take the command. Eric, tell me, son, can you succeed? That Claude Elliwood and I studied together in Ostia. He's a trusting fool. If he sees me, he'll lower his guard. And when he does, we strike. I see. I beg your pardon. Is this not too much for him? If, by strange chance, he fell, things could turn for the worse. No. I know I'm the lad's father, but Eric's quite clever, I tell you. Snuffing Fairy's whelp will be no trouble at all. It's settled. It's up to you now, Eric. Bring me the head of Fairy's darling son. Yes, father. I will not fail you. Hmm. Look around. They truly are preparing for battle. Ugh, Marquis Laos, what is he scheming? Hmm. You don't much look like you want to go to that castle. If we go and learn the truth, we may have to go to war. That's fine with me. I... I'm no love for war. If I concentrate on the foe before me, I'm fine. If I picture families... Innocence caught up in our foolish politics? If I imagine them, all I could do is pray for a way to solve things peacefully. Elliewood. Lord Elliewood, a knight has ridden forth from the castle. A lone knight? Yes, my lord. Our scouts say it's Marquis. Marquis Laus's son, Eric. He's asking to see you. Eric? Gah, why'd it have to be that buffoon? I will see him. 
Bring him here. I'm leaving. I never could abide him. I'll go for a ride and survey our surroundings. Thanks, Hector. Hello, it's been a long time, Elliewood. Eric, what is your business? My business? What do you mean? I heard my old friend was here in Laos. I merely thought I'd ride out to greet you. Hmm. So tell me, friend, what brings you to Laos? Are you on your way to Ostia? Hmm? Why would you think that? Well, you are always such good friends with Hector. He and I never got along very well. For a noble, his behavior was crude and his manner of speech. You would have thought him a peasant on first glance. You're still friends with Hector, aren't you? When did you see him last? How do you communicate? Eric? You're after something. What is it? Pardon? Everywhere I look, Laos prepares for battle. What are you and your father planning? I will know the truth! <clears throat> I'd hoped you'd wait until you told me of Ostia. Of whether you've spoken with the Marquis or not. What are you talking about? <laughs> Elliewood, I've always despised you. How I've longed to smash you and your pathetic morality into pieces. I've dreamt of this day, and here it is at last. Too bad you'll not live to see the end of it. Hector! Y you Hector! You couldn't... Have you spoken with Ostia already? Maybe we have. Maybe we haven't. Elliewood, this mongrel has troops lying in ambush all around us. Laos regulars, everyone, we're in for a rough time. <laughs> There's a little point in fighting. You're trapped. My forces will overwhelm you, an unending torrent of soldiers. Laos's elite knights are at the ready as well. <laughs> How long do you think you can survive? Craven Kerr! Indeed, ambushed. Um, hi! <laughs> A world of trouble you've landed yourself in, yes? Who? You startled me, old woman. You should go get out of here. This is gonna be a bad place to stay if you plan on living. I want to see the one searching for his father, Marquis Fairy's son. Listen up, old woman. You're close to death as it is. Quit your yammering and move on. Hector! You should mind your manners. I am Elliewood. May I ask your name, milady? <laughs> what a polite young man. I'm Hannah, a fortune teller. I came to help you. Can you tell me where my father's gone? No, but I can see other things. Useful things. I can tell you what weapons to take into battle, as well as who should wield them. Things of that nature. I see. Don't tell me you believe any of this. I have no reason to believe or disbelieve in Hannah's powers. But I'll not rule out anything if it helps me find my father. Lord Elliwood, Lord Hector, I make my living as a humble merchant. If you have any items you no longer need, please let poor Melanus take them. <laughs> I'm here too. Speak to me for auguries before you engage the enemy. My services are not free, but they may save you from paying a greater price. And we now get the preparation screen from here on out. Uh, save here. We can take everybody, so that's good. Uh, does do we need to rearrange every anything? Trade. We now have the. Uh, I believe it's transfer. There it is. 
the transfer command thanks we have Merlinus. Merlinus can hold 100 things for you. It's really cool. So if there's things you went to a store or just have no further use of, you can give them to Merlinus. You can also sell things straight to him. Which is nice. And they will be sold like they would at any other shop. So you don't have to worry about getting ripped off that way. So I'm pretty sure that's right. Okay. I'll take that. And you're Volinary there, Marcus. So now we can do this. This is what I really like. We can store our stat boosting items for later. Like the energy ring, the secret book. Uh, we can store the mine for later. Store the dragon shield. Actually, don't store that iron lance. Here, Oswin, you can use it. <laughs> Who has... Take this. Steelax. Um, I think we're okay. Valuable battle information can be viewed here as well as tactician data. So, Fortune is interesting. You can do the augury command. Save again. I don't remember when you have to pay. Yeah. <laughs> so you seek insight into your next battle? Will you pay my price? 50 gold! So yes, it's cheap, but I believe it does get more expensive as the game goes on. But you can pay a certain amount of gold and you will get uh, advice. Since it's only 50 gold, I'll show it off this once. Many of your foe will be carrying spears. You should take axes. Yes, many axes. Hmm. And if that shrewd cleric girl is with you, take her as well. She might well meet an old friend. The weather, though, it doesn't look very good. Be prepared for sudden changes. You know, you should take a rapier. It will serve you well against many a foe. That is all I see. But maybe you want to hear it again, yes? No, thank you. We got it. The augury is actually a very helpful command for your first time playing through the game. You'll find out things about the map and get hints as to who to take, what to take, and just some information about the map in general. Yes, it does cost gold but again if it's your first time playing it's actually very helpful and is right about taking Sarah if you go to the tactician you see uh, stuff about well the person so it'd be me rating and data for and you can also see your ranking your ranking is determinate on uh, these five things. And the ranking actually does matter-ish. It'll determine your ending as the tactician, which is kind of cool. And it just kind of gives you some idea of how you're doing. Tactics is, of course, what I'm going to fail the most at. <laughs> I know, that, that sounds like an oxymoron, the the really good tactician is going to fail the most at tactics. Tactics is how fast you complete a map. Which I'm not going to be because I'm explaining and showing off a whole bunch of different things as the nature of the LP. Plus I play kind of slow anyway so that's even more a detriment. But whatever. Survival is people. How many people have died. Uh, funds is cash. How much overall cash you have. Uh, this also includes goods that you have on you. 
there's that. Uh, EXP, how much EXP units have gotten in combat? Remember, units that are higher level don't get as much, well, when they beat stuff that's really low level to them, like Marcus, for example. And I don't exactly remember combat. Maybe combat speed. No, I think tactical speed. Anyway, you're rated on uh, 1 to 5 stars, if I remember correctly. I don't think there's 0 stars. There might be. It may be 0 to 5. It's kind of there. This will have, like I said, it'll determine your ending a little bit. It just determines what it says about you as the tactician. And you actually got a rank for the end of lens mode that those first uh, prologue in 10 chapters and that rank actually matters we'll get to that a few chapters from now all right because of all that explanation we're already <laughs> this will definitely be split up into two episodes for sure Soldiers, per usual, they are no threat. They have iron lances. They're kind of blah. You have some cavaliers who, of course, have some more meat on them. They actually have a, uh, a class, not soldier. Defense. I like soldiers. They're just terrible in this game. There's a uh, Mermiden over here that has a steel sword. And a Volinary to steal. Again, lots of skill and speed. You know how the Remind works. But with the Steel Sword, it'll actually do some damage. Be a little careful of him. Iron Lances, an Iron Sword, Lance, 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 an Archer with an Iron Bow. Uh, be wary of this Cavalier just because he has a sword. It's different from everybody else. You could end up being on the wrong side of the Weapon Triangle. Uh, this Archer has an Iron Bow and a Volinary. Lance, Lance, Lance and Lance. Behind you, you have a Cavalier with a Javelin and a Cavalier with an Iron Lance. So what we're going to do is we're going to move some people over there to take care of that. Here we go. You come back here. There are some forts down here. I think reinforcements will spawn from them. You have an armory and a vendor. This village is super important. I believe it's this village. You want to visit this village. And I don't remember exactly what this village has. But we'll want to visit it too regardless. It's a village. But this village. I believe it's this village. Is extremely important. Make sure you visit this village. I believe so. I believe it's the one. I believe it's that one. I think it's this one. One of these will be extremely important. Well, they're both important, but you know what I'm getting at. Okay. Oswin. Actually, you're gonna block that path because that will be funny. Um, who has the Volinary? You do. Try to steal that with Matthew. Okay, is that everybody I want? You can come back here. That's what you can do. You can help take care of these guys. A couple of villages, to, uh, a couple of houses to visit. And that should do it for the map. And one house here. And there's the gate. Our boss for this episode... Well, this chapter, not this episode, because there'll be more than more than one, is Eric. He is a level 14 cavalier. He has pretty balanced stats, which you would kind of expect out of a cavalier. Eight strength, nine skill, eight speed, eight defense, nine resistance. The son of Marquis Laos despises Eliwin and Hector. He wouldn't be all that threatening if he didn't have the silver lance on him. Yes, he has a silver lance, but it's green. That means we get the silver lance when we beat him. So there's that. 
Uh, we've seen a Silver Lance before. 14 Might, 75 Hit, 10 Weight. It's very, a very great Lance. Only 20 uses. When we beat him, we get it. Oh yeah, and random uh, Knight down here with an Iron Lance. So, heavy defense. Alright, that should do it for map explanation and all that. Let's go ahead and save, and we'll start the map. Lord Elliwood, shall I join you? If you deploy my tent, I can help with equipment. I can switch items for you and hold them in your packs if you're full. However, my tent cannot be moved about, so if you deploy it, it will require a guard. I beg your understanding. Merlinus Merchant Tent can be deployed on this map. If you deploy the tent, any items you cannot carry can be sent to the tent. You have to deploy the tent to get this uh, ability. This is kind of I th kind of just this fire emblem. Maybe a few more. Uh, most of the times you can just send it directly. In this fire emblem game, you have to have the merchant tent out on the map. This is great, so if you pick up, so, so if somebody has full inventory and they pick up something, oh, I can just send it straight to the tent, and it'll be put in storage. However, the tent is vulnerable to enemy attack. If the tent loses all its HP, it will vanish from the map and remain unavailable until the next map. Merlin's tent gains one level for every battle it survives. The tent will be harder to destroy as it increases in level. It will be. So yes, you always want to deploy Merlinus. Syndrome, let me take the point. There may be many of them, but numbers are meaningless. We are knights of fairy. These mice of Laos will never defeat us. Hmm. We certainly could stand some assistance. I'm sorry, but it's just not possible. If we disobey Marquis Laos, who knows what might happen to us? I understand. We'll seek our aid elsewhere. You'll find the same answer everywhere you go. Eventually, you'll have to do as the Marquis orders. You would do well to tell your employer the same thing. Hmm. Good day to you. Hi! You're important! Look who's back! Back again. Erk, a young mage from Etruria, charming but uptight. He still has his levels with him. He's level 7. Still got that uh, pretty good stats that he was getting. Uh, 8 magic, 9 skill, 10 speed. He starts with a goddess icon, which increases luck by 2. He also comes packing with a thunder tomb. We know how good thunder is. I really like it. And he still has that C rank in anima magic. So there we go. We'll have to go uh, pick him up. Which we can do. Wait there. Ten times two. Close. I am okay with this. <laughs> Bye. And that's a level for Dorgus. Come on. HP, luck, defense, resistance. He got defense. Well, he got resistance. Fantastic. All right. We need to get Sarah over there to go recruit Urk. That's a thing. Move five, right? Yes. She can reach him next turn. Heal. There we go. Okay, now... You can't reach, you can't reach, you can't... You can! No problem. Uh, here's Merlinus' tent. It has 18 HP. He is a transporter. A conveyor of goods and items lacks combat skill. He has 25 con, which means you can't rescue the tent because you can't take Merlinus and all of his goods. <laughs> uh, if he had an option, he would be able to rescue units, which would be really funny. 
He has no equipment. He is completely defenseless. He has 12 luck, so maybe he can get lucky and uh, not be crit. 5 defense. His growths are unique. Oh, I forgot to uh, make note of Merlinus' growths. Uh, the main thing you need to know is that he has a, I believe it's a 125% growth. I'll end up putting the uh, growths on the screen now so you all can see them. He really doesn't have that many growths. He has, like I said, I believe a 125 HP growth, something like that. What that means is that every stage he survives, he will gain at least 1 HP. That additional 20-25% that's left over, he has that percent chance to gain 2 HP. So he has a 100% chance to gain 1 HP, and then the leftover 25, 20, whatever it is, percent chance to gain 2 HP. And he does get other stat growths. He can uh, gain defense and speed and etc. To help him not get doubled, last a little longer. He shouldn't be getting hit. Is the, uh, is the point. If he does survive, he'll gain a level and gain stat gross. But he has to survive the map. Which means we need to take care of these two guys now. We're gonna march you out here. Should be okay. We'll put Matthew. I could have somebody rescue. Then they'd be vulnerable. <laughs> uh, let's see how this goes. Wait there. there. Alright, let's deal with these guys. You're the one with the javelin, correct? Yes. Good. Eleven, huh? Okay. Ow. Good. And Marcus gets one kill. There we go. Thank you, Marcus. And that's that. All right. Um, I don't think anybody... Well, we can't go too far. Sit here. And that's our first turn. The enemies will march towards you. They'll take different paths. Ow. I'd have laughed if Matthew would have critted there. <laughs> would, have, would have just killed the guy. Hi! No. Now you would want to... You might have the urge to stay back, but you can't in this map. Ow. Because you have to go get Urk before he gets uh, overrun. Oh good, he walked this way. Thunder! Oh, come on, Urk. Yeah, I better say, you're fast enough to double now. Unfortunately, he doesn't get EXP for that. Yes, this is the important village. 
Priscilla, has your escort returned yet? No. He left yesterday in search of a way out of here. I just hope the soldiers of Laos haven't captured him. His search for help must have been fruitless. Marquis Laos has ordered that no aid be given to you. There's really nothing that any of us can do. I apologize, but... No, no. You could turn me over to the Marquis, and yet you continue to grant me asylum. I'm grateful for that. Of course, if I simply went to the castle, this would all be over. Don't fret over that. None of us are overly fond of the Marquis. He's always threatening us. He treats us like slaves. All of these war preparations? We want nothing to do with them. We may be divided into territories, but we're Lycians one and all. We may be invaded by another country one day, but why does he want to start a war here at home? None of us understand what he is doing. Priscilla, the cute redhead with the with the wings. We want to get Priscilla. But first, Oh my gosh! It's Urk! It's been so long! What are you doing here? Oh, Sarah. You're the last person I wanted to see. Oh, that's so sweet! You wanted to see me again! That's not what he was going for, Sarah, but way to stay positive. <sighs> hey, I know! This is perfect! Come with us and lend a hand, Urk! I beg your pardon? Come on! I'll even introduce you to Lords Hector and Elliewood. I know you. You're probably just wandering about without work. No, Sarah. I'm afraid I'm gainfully employed. However, if you're fighting Laos, this might work out after all. What are you babbling about? Make up your mind, will you? My employer is hiding in a village south of here. If you'll help me protect her, I'll join up with you. Done! You can count on that, Urk. All right, Urk rejoins the party. He has the same growths as before. So there's that. Um, we need to not have Matthew die because that would be bad. We also need him to steal the Volinary, though. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Um, Marcus is all the way over here. That's fine. Start moving. Six HP. Elliewood, if you would. Thank you. you up here and you're an axe user and would be very helpful here Bartray if I had an iron axe for you so you're just gonna visit villages for me what is your con yeah you're not aiding him hmm I need this. Thank you. Grab. That puts you at three skill and speed. All right, you're still good. Excellent. Goodbye. Guy can reach the archer. Good. And not kill the archer. Sadly. That's fine. The archer's dead next turn. And arc. 
as long as you move, you'll be okay. Let's move you... And you're overkilling everything. Cause you're so good! Ha! Sure! Have a javelin! Have another javelin! <laughs> that gets us when a level! Level 11! HP, skill, luck! Now oh, I got luck. Okay. I really don't want to deal with the archer. Goodbye. Alright, the enemy gets to go. Ow. And you're dead. Ah, uh, 99, why? <laughs> Oh, good dodger. You should double this guy. You actually have really good speed. Done. And that gets Urk a level. Level 8. HP, skill, speed, luck. Yeah, there they are. And what's this? Looks like a war's broken out. <laughs> Perfect. Time for a raid. Up and at him, mates. That village is ripe for plunder. That's right. You're going to be trying to get there before this guy, and then more will show up. This is a pirate. Bold pirates use axes at, in battle. Quite adept at sea. Pirates sticks. Pirates staking out their turf. Yeah, whatever. They use axes, and they're like fighters, honestly. But the only difference is they can be on the water as well. Uh, pirates are cool. We don't like these pirates, but... So, we need to get down there pretty quick. You can't quite make it. Ugh, of course not. And that's what Marcus is going to go do. He's going to go run down there for me. Wait there. I need you dead. Bye. Thank you, Hector. And that's a level. Level 6. HP, skill, speed, defense. Nice. Okay, move here, Lance, Lance, I know I'll have to heal, uh, to heal him eventually. Right there. quite make it to the woods. That's fine. Wait there. Let's visit this house. The pirates from that citadel in the south keep raiding a nearby village. The Marquis ignores our pleas for help. We'll be overrun someday. Someone should go to that village and warn them. On it. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Next time, we're going to complete this map. And go grab the person in this village. Priscilla. And also visit this village. Until then, I'm Cinder9. Remember to shoot for the stars. And take care, everyone.